Marie. Hi, I'm Patricia Duffer from Working Dog Chihuahuas by Midwest, and we're doing another DNA video so that people have a little bit better idea how you can test for inherited markers and um, get some more information on the color of your dogs. This is Nadira. She is a long coat blue brindle spotted on white chihuahua. However, today we're going to verify a little bit more about her um, with the help of DDC um, Veterinary. DDC does health testing and they'll send you a schedule and everything you need to run the testing for your dogs. What we're going to do today for Nadira are called bugle swabs. They are simply done inside of the cheeks of the mouth of the dog, just like happens with people when you do paternity testing. It works the same way. Um, what we're going to do for her today is a DNA profile that doesn't determine breed at all. It's basically like a fingerprint for your dog. And then we're also going to test for three different colors today. We're going to test for the E locus, which um, determines yellows, reds, those colors. We're also going to check um, the liver um, color, which is on the B locus, and we're going to check for dilution, which she should have. She's blue-nosed, so her dilution should come back. I'm going to show you how to do this. You take one of these out of the packet. Two are done on each side of the mouth. And you want to do this after your dog has eaten and drank you know, a good 20 minutes, half an hour later. Come here, Nadira. And all you do is you put it inside the cheek of their mouth. And it's like a toothbrush, but you do it the opposite way. You're going into the cheek. You want to get the epithelial cells, and you just spin it like this. And there's one. They give you an envelope. Don't put it back into the original envelope. You put it straight into the one that's provided. You're going to do two of these on each side of the mouth. Regardless of the number of testing you're going to do, that's all the samples that they'll need. Again, I'm coming into her mouth. I'm not rubbing her teeth. I'm actually rubbing the cheek area and spinning it around so that it gets plenty in there. I promise this doesn't hurt her at all. She's just not overly thrilled about having it done. That one's done. They do send you separate sets. They always have an expiration date on them so you know that they're sterile. You simply open it up. Don't allow it to get contaminated by any other animals or anything. Um, as you can tell we have other dogs around in the picture but they aren't going to actually have anything to do with the swabs. Now we're coming on the opposite side of her mouth. Hi, Dira. And you just go in, swish it around. I don't know how well this is able to be seen. Again, all four of the swabs that we're going to do from both sides of the mouth are going into the same package to get mailed back to the lab. Last one. The reason for not doing it after a dog eats or drinks is it can dilute a little bit what you're getting. And there's the last swab right there. Oh, now the lab is nice enough, I'm going to seal that right away, the lab is nice enough to let you know approximately the amount of time it's going to take. I recommend sending to them with some type of tracking, it can take up to a week or so for them to actually get the buccal swabs from you. Um, it goes through the pricing on here and how long it takes, for example, the colors, it takes five days for them to process and get back to you with your color locus. Things like DNA profiling, parent, parent evaluation, um, things like that, and some 